this is going to be an admissible video. Why? Because we're going to take you on a whistle stop tour of Mazak European Technology Centre and see all of their latest technology. Wow, Tony, you've had the busiest week this week, haven't you? Oh, Lindsay, you know, what a week we've had. Customers coming in, you know, obviously it's been a while since we've been hosting a week like this. The confidence out there in manufacturing. People are looking at solutions, new technology. We're so encouraged by what's happened this week and it's really, you know, great. It's it great to see really customers good. again, isn't it? And you know? I've got a lot of confidence in you taking me on a tour oh, around the right. facility. Okay. Also, there's something that you've noticed as well. A lot of people aren't just saying, I want a vertical. No, no, absolutely. I mean, yeah, sure, people want some machines on reactive investment, but they're really looking at new projects now, automation, more support. Our application engineers have been looking at drawings again. People are bringing components in. How do I make that quicker, faster, better, more efficient? It, it, it's looking at engineering again. You know, it's it's been really encouraging. Really encouraging. It's not just putting in a box in a machine shop anymore, is it? No, but <laughs> we do that as well. <laughs> well. We can do that as well. Right, okay, let's start on this machine. Okay, then. what we've got here is our new Q QTE 200. It's an entry level two axis machining centre on price, not on technology. It's a Mazak. We're celebrating 40 years of the Mazatrol control this year. We've got the latest Smooth EZ control on. It's at home using conversational Mazatrol as well as more conventional ISO programming system. You know, well. talking about this control system, and we'll start walking around uh, the, the uh, technology center now, the control systems, it's quite interesting, is the fact that people now, apprentices and everyone, have phones, Absolutely. it's all touch screen now, so you're making, you're putting the hard work into the background of these control systems to make it so user friendly and easy. Absolutely. Now the QTE is, like I say, our entry level control system. On here we have the new Variaxis I800, wow. the latest upgrade to our very popular Variaxis 5-axis machining centre. This has got the AI artificial intelligence control. It's even learning the way you're programming and getting your programming even quicker and slicker. And it's kind of learning from its mistakes really and then making it even better. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's making it, it's improving it, it's reducing programming times. But it's not just a programming system, it's part of the machine's DNA. The speed, the understanding of the performance, the ease of integration of automation and digital twins. You'll see automation as we go around being a key point in the industry as we speak. Let's move on, because you talk about automation, right? The key to survival now essentially is going to be automation. You've got to automate to be able to hit the price points that everyone's after. I, I, absolutely, automation's key. Automation is only good as a solution. If you've not got a stable solution, the automation is not going to be efficient. So you still need the skills, the programming skills, the control to make a stable process. But again, you also need the, the capacity to attract the business. This Absolutely. is our latest VCN 700, launched for the UK at the first time, Emo Milan three weeks ago. Yep. UK built and designed, we're very proud of that. And it's an extended Y axis for more suitable mold and die applications, but for subcontract industry that need capacity. You know, Mazak is a brand that every single one of the machines that you're talking about, you're kind of increasing the, the size, it's either increasing the table, you know, improving on the um, control system, you're ever increasing that you're cutting edge technology, <laughs> aren't you really? Well, well, we are, but you know, being a manufacturer and you not a distributor, we're, we do that, yeah. we design that. It's, here we see a robot, look, you know, it's, people are out there with robots in industry. What you see here is the integration of the programming system on the control that programs the machine as well. We've not got any third-party software. It's integrated into So, so basically, you're telling me that you can use the control system to sort out all of the automation as well as the machine? It's interactive. It's asking wow. you questions. What's the size of the part? How many parts are there? What's the cycle time? It'll tell you. It's all It'll in one. It'll itself out. Take, take the complexity out of the programming. Mean, you know what? Easy. You know, I started with um, MTD CNC five years ago now, and we were t we're having a different conversation today as what we would have been then. Um, okay, next machine. Wow. Okay, so these machines obviously look very different. Yeah, but we, black we, we and branded orange. what we call the hybrid technology machines with a, a different color scheme. 
This is our Integrex i300S. We're well known for the multitasking Integrex machines in the industry. This is designated AM for additive manufacturing. So here we're doing material deposition and material removal wow. on the same platform. Hence the green colour scheme. So when the laser is depositing the material, you've not getting the laser flash. So again, it's a hybrid machine, material on, material off, working with our suppliers of powders, different materials, because it's a technology centre. Yes. Machine tools are part of it, application engineers are part of it, but our, our suppliers are key in supporting us with CAD CAM, automation. But you do so holding. much, you do so much. You come from one machine, you know, as we started, you're literally covered in the whole brick. We, we've got about 18 machines in here. We've got over 300 in the range, you know, so, we like all 300 in here, but we know <laughs> <laughs> that would be a bit We're difficult, wouldn't it? You're not going to get it. Um, this is, you know, actually, you've got to see through these windows here. You've got the amount of tools at the back of this machine is probably the largest amount of tools that I've ever seen on a tool changer. Flexible automation. Absolutely. Now, as you see, it's own onboard pallet system, 32 or 40 pallet option, 300 mil working diameter. What we've also seen is the tool changer here, as you quite rightly said, Lindsay. It's huge. It's huge, but future proof in the machine yes. is obviously a decision you have to make when you order the machine. Yes. But your business changes, you need to expand. We can expand the tool changer in the field. Um, but this uh, small part manufacturer, aerospace, automotive, mold and die, it utilizes standard milling tools as a work holding platform. So this tool here could easily go within a spindle of a machining centre. Yes. An HSK, in it this case is. it's a Capto. So, but that's actually utilising some rotating tooling in a work holding environment. You know what, it's fascinating. It's, it's batch sizes going from one to... Uh, absolutely. The you know, sky's your limit. Well, absolutely, you've got, to, you've got to feed the machine, let it run automotive. The control's intelligent enough to tell you that it's at full capacity with all the work holding, with the tooling, what tooling shared. Again, having the control as our manufactured product and not relying on a third party's control just enables us to do so much. And I mean, just look, I've got to say, you know, some of the machines, look at the size of these parts, that's massive. And then you see the table that you're making this on. So what, what's so specialist about this Okay, machine? what we've got is black and orange again. So it's designated in a hybrid system. It looks like a twin pallet, five axis multitasking machine, but we've got the added technology of AG, which right. is auto gear. Ah. So embedded into the control system are all the gear tables for skiving, gear machining, gear deburring, probing, just, inspection. So <laughs> the list goes on and on. And it to goes be on and on. And you know, but this is just a demonstration of sort of the, the, mid, the mid range multitasking. Wow. This is. They're a, bit, a lot bigger than that as well. Bigger, you know. right. And again, some more automation here. Yeah, you know, the key difference here is that we demonstrated automation with pallet, moving the pallet around the, the automation. Over there, you saw the, the MA, which is moving material around the automation. We've got the luxury here of having material and pallet automation on the same machine. Right. So whether it's small blocks here, large blocks there, or even fixtures at the higher level, yes. depending on the complexity of the automation, we can actually increase the capacity of automatic lights out it's running. It's so flexible. This is what I'm learning is you can't, automation now has got to be flexible. And it's, and it's affecting the design of the machines. Years yes. ago, you had a machine, how do I put a robot on it? We're designing for automation. Whether you put automation on it is down to the customer but to put the automation on is far simpler now. Is there a machine, Tony, that Mazak don't do? <laughs> yeah, CDM machines. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. <laughs> and that's it, because there's so many here. And here you see, again, wow. a black and orange. It's a similar principle to the i630 AG you've just seen there. Key difference is your size. Okay. That's a vertical spindle. This is a horizontal spindle. Yes. Again, it's our Integrex multitasking range, mill turn machines. But with the benefit of having, as you can see here through the window, if you can get the camera in there. Yeah, all this one here. Yeah, it's actually doing some gear hobbing. But yes, again, all programmed from the control. Right, wow. So it's 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 opening up the ability to do done in one. We've always promoted done in yeah. one. We've been making done in one multitasking machines since the early eighties. So with us it's 
it's a knowledge. We've got skill sets Keeping in there. those spindles turning. And I think we'll probably finish off on this machine. Yeah, this is a new UK built machining centre. Again, VCE with a new easy control on there. This machine, it's entry level on price, not performance and specification. The key difference is um, the machine options available, unlike our premium line with automation and mold and die and high speed spindles, extended tool changes. This will fulfill a lot of small subcontractors and they'll be surprised at Mac. You know what? What we're going to be I offering. know that I know the price of this and I know we're not allowed to say but even I was a bit surprised Tony about the price. Well, of this we've machine. done the right job then. There we go. Exactly, exactly. And you know what? This is kind of probably to end this. This is a big facility here. Mazak, if you you've got your own manufacturing facility Absolutely. on site. So when you're buying a Mazak, you're getting all of that service and support behind it and you're also finding as we said at the beginning of the video the fact that people are coming to you for a solution Absolutely. and that's more important now we can show them we can work with them on the solution and if they want to know how their machines are manufactured before they buy visit the factory come and see us yes it's not an open house just this week it's all throughout the year we're always here yeah okay well i think you've got a lot of leads now to follow <laughs> up on after this Appreciate week that. thank you Tony. thanks for your time